Hey guys, it's time to talk about the OnePlus 5D again. Yes, some more leaks and info is out as well as some camera samples have been leaked. So you're looking at the live OnePlus 5D leak. And before you say it's a Vivo phone, let me remind you that Vivo, Oppo and OnePlus, they are owned by the same company. So all of their new phones, the new Vivo X phone, Oppo R11s and OnePlus 5D, they all are having one common design, this bezel design so pretty much this is the final design and you're looking at it in a live real form so a lot of you are saying that this is just an iPhone 7 Plus in a Galaxy S8 body. Well, with a price like this, you are not allowed to complain. But trolling, on the other hand, is okay. I troll them too. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember trolling them when they announced the OnePlus 5, but once I actually used the phone in real life, then the whole iPhone copy thing just went away because the features, the specs and everything for the price is just amazing. So pretty much you won't get a phone like this anywhere in the world for the price of $550. So for me, no complaining. And this design is, by the way, not the only main big change compared to the OnePlus 5. Uh, yes, the camera has been improved as well and taken to the next level. As you can see, uh, via Untutu benchmark, we have some killer details. Look at that 20 plus 20 megapixel combination. This is further confirmed by the release of Oppo R11s, which has an upgraded 20 megapixel dual camera. So this same camera sensor would probably end up on the OnePlus 5D as well. OnePlus Go founder Carl P tweeted a mysterious image saying cool photo must have come from a great camera and then the CEO followed up with another tweet saying must be a great camera so looking at these photos I think they are pointing and teasing about the low light shots improvement as a camera will have an aperture of f1.6 compared to the f1.7 of the OnePlus 5. Now another detail that will make your inner child happy is the stock Android yes it's actually rocking Android 8.0 Oreo right out of the box which makes it the first OnePlus phone to have it and apart from Pixel phones most of the flagships are still running on NuGet so this is a pretty good and of course with Android 8.0 Oreo things will be very much like stock so you get uh, all the stock features and furthermore finally here is the press render look of the phone as well like I said it's similar to the Oppo R11s, so it's the same thing. You can see the 6.0 AMOLED display, 18 by 9 aspect ratio with less bezels, giving the phone a true futuristic look. Dual cameras are still on the back at the same position, but the fingerprint scanner is moved from the front to the back of the phone. Unlike the R11s's Snapdragon 660 processor, the OnePlus 5D will have a Snapdragon 835 processor coupled with 8 gigs of RAM. And for those people who are curious about the on-screen navigation bar keys, uh, they are probably hidden because of the software, so users will be able to hide them for a full screen experience just like the Samsung Galaxy devices with the infinity screen. Furthermore, the pricing is expected to be around the same as the OnePlus 5, so $550 to be exact. And Evan Blast tweeted out saying that OnePlus 5D will get released sometime after November 20th, 27th, so we still got a couple of weeks till we see the best OnePlus phone ever made. So yeah guys, if you are tight on budget and you want the best for your money, then I would suggest that you should wait for the OnePlus 5D because it has everything that you can desire in a 2017 flashy smartphone. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this. Are you willing to buy one? And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.